Buongiorno e ciao a tutti, I'm Aaron here at 99 Problemi and today I have a video for you on the presente indicativo. This will be the second video in the series about the presente in italiano and this, this video deals specifically with spelling changes that happen with ARE verbs. And so we'll be looking at how do you conjugate verbs that end in the following terminations. That's the care or gare verbs. Uh, the iare verbs that have an i before the ari, and then verbs that somehow don't follow this pattern, like sciare. And then I'll be doing the exercises as usual to reinforce what you learned. So, right to it. In the previous video, I talked about the three conjugations in Italian, and because I'm not dealing with those eri and iri verbs, they are going away, and we're talking about just the ari verbs. And you're going to notice that when you try to conjugate some of these ari verbs, some peculiarities about pronunciation end up creating some spelling changes that you have to include so that you conserve the original sound of the infinitive. So in this video, we're going to be talking a lot about how it can how these spelling changes will conserve the pronunciation of the original infinitive. Okay, and these changes are going to happen principally in the to and the noi form. So really, those are the major areas that this kind of spelling change occurs in. Take, for example, these verbs that end in care and gare, and these are the couple model verbs that I've got here. They have the regular conjugations out here, but uh, and then you form the conjugation as usual by taking off the ARE part of the verb. What happens, however, when you have you're conjugating the verb like you normally do? You would go from practico, and then on the next one, the two form, you would add an I, and that would end up being pronounced. Pratici. But if you go back up to the infinitive, you have practicare with a hard C sound there. Well, in order to bring that back, you have to add an H. Okay? And the same thing is going to happen in the noi form, where after you conjugate uh, the two, you uh, get to the lui le form, you have practica, and that's fine. But then you get to the noi form and you add the iamo and you have prati chiamo and that does not conserve the sound that you're looking for. So in both of these cases, you just add in an H and then it's pronounced uh, tu practici and noi practichiamo and see how that conserves the hard C of the practicare. Same concept over in pagare. You're going to chop off the ARE, as per usual, start conjugating, pago, and then to oh, pagi. That's a problem because the, the original verb is pagare. Okay, keep that in mind. Then you go paga, fine there. You get to the noi, and that's pagiamo, and that's problematic because, again, the infinitive is pagare. Then voi pagate, and then pagano. Okay. How do you solve this? Same rule. Add an H in here, and all of a sudden you've made the G uh, into a hard sound again. So you have pago, pagi, instead of pagi, and so forth. So that's what you do there. If you have a cari or gari verb, you have to remember to put an H in the two in the noi form. On to the next verbs. These are verbs that end in the iare. Verbs like cominciare, mangiare. Again, you notice that these problems with spelling end up occurring with these verbs that have CI or GI or just CA or CG. Okay, and it's those unique pronunciation rules in Italian that create these issues. Okay, so this one is the, the problem actually arises with verbs um, that have the IARE because uh, they have that extra that I stem, and you know that in the to and in the noi form, you already have an I in the uh, the change at the end of the verb. When you add on those verbal endings, you already have an I. So what ends up happening is you have 
if you conjugate it regularly after chopping off the, the stem, the R stem, you start going kumincho, and then tu kuminchi, and you got two Y's next to each other, and that's a problem. Um, you will only double the I in the next class of verbs that I'll talk about, and that's because you uh, have a different sound in each of those. Okay, so then it goes kumincho, kumin, kuminchi, kumincha, kuminchamo, kuminchate, kuminchano. But because that second I is not needed, you just get rid of that. And that's how you would conjugate those. So you don't have to double the I with iare verbs uh, for the most part. <laughs> Look at all those at the bottom, like cominciare, mangiare, studiare, lasciare, sbagliare. Don't double the I's in those verbs. And I'll tell you the rule in the next slide. But first, let's take a look at mangiare. This is a verb, you chop off the are, and you start to conjugate it. And it's the same thing as before. You just don't have to double that I. I'm going to drop that off. And there's your correct conjugation. Manjo, manji, manja. Manjamo, manjate, manjano. OK, here are the exception. uh, exceptions, I should say. Shiare, the verb to ski is a common enough verb that you're going to use. I've put in a couple of other ones that aren't very common, like inviare or avviare. Sometimes you'll see those, but more often than not. And you can actually look up a whole list of what these verbs are. It's not important for me to put it in uh, for this video. But the rule is somewhat important for those of you who are very detail-oriented. You're going to like this. Notice that I said shiare, and I really put the emphasis on that I. Well, that she o um, in the first person is going to be very important, that she o Notice the emphasis on the E sound. Well, in verbs that do that, like invio and avio and she o there's um, that emphasis on that I, and you've got to uh, respect that by also, uh, in the to form there, you're going to include uh, a second I. Okay, so again, the detail, but somewhat important one uh, as you're going through. And notice in the noi form, there's no change. That's regular as always, shiamo. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. We're now going to go on to the exercises for these ARE verbs with spelling changes. And I've mixed in a couple of um, verbs that, uh, where there's no spelling change, just so you can see uh, the difference and really provide some contrast. Uh, so they're not all going to be you know, with these irregular spelling changes. Um, but here's the first one. It's lavare, conjugated with a two form. Uh, and that's lavi. Nothing special there. It's just a regular verb. Um, pause the video here and do the rest of them, and I'll give you the answers in a few minutes. Um, take a look, too, if there's, a, if there's a, that magenta negative sign, you're going to make those negative, and that's a very easy rule to follow. All you have to do is put a known in front of the verb. Okay? All right, so number two, io pago, straightforward. No spelling change there. Three is non paghi, and that's one where you have to add in the H to conserve the G sound in pagare. Four is one where you don't have to double the I's, just cominciare, and this one is noi cominciamo. Five is noi non cerchiamo, again, one where you have to add in the H to conserve that hard C sound. Six is voi pagate. Seven is loro sciano. Eight is non mangia. Nine is tu porti. Ten is io mangio. Eleven is le non paga. That would be the formal U form. Notice the capital L. Uh, it could also be she if it were at the beginning of the sentence, but uh, for this, I was thinking about the lay from you formal. Twelve is tu non shi, and that's one because it's a shio emphasis on the I. You have to add a double I. Thirteen is 
paghiamo, again add the H to conserve the G, 14 is mangiamo, 15 is sciamo, 16 is another one of these that are emphasized, inviare, invio, um, but it doesn't matter because it would be conjugated the same for this, um, invia for the lay. 17, tu studi, don't double the I for that one, it's just studio in the eo form, no emphasis on the I, so you don't double the I. 18 is le sbaglia, 19, guardiamo, and 20 is tu lasci again, don't double the I there. And that's all. Grazie, and uh, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, uh, it's um, just look up uh, 99 Problemi, and you can also check out uh, some videos and tutorials over at uh, 99 problemicom And um, that's it. If you have a question, be sure to leave a comment uh, in the comments area at the bottom of the page. E grazie mille. Ciao.